Hi, I'm Mike. So to change your background, you need to go over to settings. Now there's a couple ways to get to settings. One of those ways is you go right down here to the dock and you'll see this gear icon. You click it and you get to settings. Now, if that's not there, you'd go over to here and it would be in here. And you look for it, find it, you click it. The other way is if you go right up over here to the Apple logo in the corner, click it. Right here is what you'd click and that would also take you to settings. We're going to go down here and click on the gear icon. Now that it's open, you want to go to desktop screensavers. Click it. And now what you'll see is a bunch of presetting pictures that the Mac comes with. What you'd want to do is find the one you want. I'll click the elephant. And all you would do is click exit and you've set your background. You have completely changed it. Now to use your own pictures, it's very simple. All you want to do is go back to settings, go back to desktop screensavers, and right over down here is what you'd click. Now it comes up right here, photos. This is going to pull photos up from your photos app, right? So all the photos you have in your app. Now if you don't have any in there, the other way to do that is to go here and click it. Now, it's not going to show any photos in there because you're going to have to put some. How to do that is all you would do is click exit. You go up here to the top to the go. Click it and you go right here and you click it. And now right here you're going to see a photos icon. All you would do is take your photo. I have one right here in this file. I'll open it up. This is what it looks like my photo I took I'm gonna put that photo in there so all I do is I drag the photo right into the photos app it goes in there now you can see it right there now I just exit out of here I'll go back to settings desktop screensavers and right there you'll see that now once you've clicked on this here that you have the photo. You click it, click exit, and now you have your own photo. You can use your own photos. Now, for desktop screensavers, that's when your computer goes into sleep mode. How to do that is you want to go over here to settings again, click it, go back to desktop screensavers, click it, and you're going to go over here to screensavers. Now, you're going to get all these presettings in here of different ways that it can be shown. So, for this one here, you can click view. And this is what it looks like. It just shows the pictures moving up. And you can use your own photos. You have another one like this one here that shows pictures hanging and they flip pretty cool. And then there's this one here that looks like picture frames and it moves. It's a pretty cool one. Now to do your own complete photos, you would go here, you'd go down to here, and then you'd go right over to here where it shows this little home icon. Click it, and it takes you to here, and you'll see your photos. Now you click it, and you have photos in here. Now, they have to be in a file, so you have to put all your photos in a file. I have a file right here with some photos in it, three 
photos. So all you would do, exit out of that, go back up here to the go, click on this again, and just drag this whole entire photo of photos and put it right in here. Right? So now it's in there. So now what you can do is you can go back to settings, desktop screensavers, and back here. And now once you're back here, you'll be able to go in here, go right here, and you'll be able to select the folder that has your photos in it. And now when you go to test it, as you can tell, your photos are now in there. Thank you for watching my YouTube video. I hope you found the video helpful. And if you did, subscribe to the YouTube channel and go over to the YouTube channel where I have more how-to videos.